Assalamu alaikum and a very pleasant day everyone. Today I am going to present a paper on the topic applications of pure and applied mathematics. Friends, let us first learn the principal difference between pure and applied mathematics. Pure mathematics as it is named is purely mathematics. You go on integrating, differentiating and finding solutions without much concern to the real life aspect. On the other hand, applied mathematics apply this knowledge of pure mathematics to solve problems of real life phenomenon. The difference between pure and applied mathematics is more of motivation than of content. That is simple. If I am a pure mathematician, then I am motivated to solve a problem for the sake of mathematics. If I am an applied mathematician, then I am motivated to solve real world problem. It may be physics, chemistry, computer science, etc. The very word mathematics, it often brings terror amongst people. It is one discipline that many people are afraid of coming across. Why? This word mathematics, it brings terror. Why? Because people believe that mathematics is all about theorems and hypotheses. They think that only small part of the entire population of the world uses mathematics to create something useful. But they are unaware of the fact that we are enjoying the luxury of every useful thing only because of mathematics. The applications of mathematics are endless. It is incredibly important. It's not about equations or formulas. It is in fact a very versatile tool having lots of fascinating applications. Let me first begin with the applications of calculus in astronomy. Calculus has been used in astronomy since the 17th century. Calculus is the study of infinitesimal changes. That is the changes that are not zero but smaller than any imaginable real number. It is a known fact that the laws of planetary motion is used by astronomers to calculate the orbits of the planets around the stars. But have you ever thought how these laws were derived? It is derived using calculus. Another example to highlight is in rocket science. In order for a rocket to be launched to space or a satellite into orbit, astronomers use calculus to figure out how fast rocket is going after 25 seconds, how fast is it going after 50 seconds, how much fuel the rocket or satellite needs to accelerate to correct velocity because as rocket goes up, acceleration increases. This is just an example of the way I shared in which calculus and astronomy work together. Friends, trigonometry is used whenever you are carrying out calculations involving angles and it plays an important role in architecture. Yes, the great pyramid of Egypt is a standing testament to trigonometry. It is still not accurately known how the Egyptians constructed pyramid in the ancient time when there was a lack of technology. But I am confident enough to say that a great deal of trigonometric calculations must have been involved, providing the guarantee for adequate heights, widths and angles which are very important behind any building. The Petronas Tower of Kuala Lumpur experiences high forces due to wind. With the help of integral calculus, the architects were able to design the building strong enough to withstand these powerful winds. The Sydney Opera House is a very unusual design with complex shapes based on slices out of a ball. Many differential equations were used in the design of this building. In a nutshell, I am very proud to say that mathematics play a vital role in architecture. One of the interesting applications of trigonometry is in orthopedics. For example, a person suffers from an open femur fracture that has a length of 10 cm. The fracture and bone makes an angle of 30 degree. And now for the treatment, two questions arises. The first question is, what is the length of the plate that should be implanted? And the second question is, what is the height from the bone to the fracture? For these two questions, trigonometry gives an accurate solution. Without its role, I think it's impossible to treat successfully. Okay, friends, what is so interesting about mathematics, which I think is it can be used by anyone, anywhere efficiently. For example, Suppose you see a car on the road. 
How will you decide its speed whether it's going slow or fast? It's simple. By the formula, speed is equal to distance by time. That is, you inherently calculate the distance the car has traveled and divide it by the instant of time. In this simple formula, you inherently calculated a derivative, which is undoubtedly a branch of calculus. Friends, wherever you go, whatever you do, you are using mathematics. In cooking, we use mathematics to add ingredients to correct quantity, ratios and proportions. A tile installer, he uses mathematics to calculate the floor area of the room to determine how many tiles is needed. Even an electrician uses mathematics to figure out how much wire he needs to install new electrical outlets. Even those suffering from mathematics related anxieties or phobias cannot escape from mathematics. There are still many more applications of max, but time being short, I need to be precise. I cannot claim to have done full justice to its never ending applications. All I can say is mathematics is the cradle of all creations without which the world cannot move an inch. Thank you.